Well, welcome back. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I finally got this little piece out. You want to see the size of this this piece. I mean, it's just, we're talking one, two, three threads in diameter. And um, my patient was just very, very good about sitting through all this. But that's the piece. I'm just recording it. I was able to finally get it out. Um, it's not an easy, easy pick to get here. But we knew once it budged that we had to walk this one out. The, the problem with these is, uh, boy, you sneeze, and that one's just going to fall out of my hand. But I'm going to keep this piece, keep it in a safe place. And I, my work's not, not finished until I finally get this threads cleaned up now. And that's bottom line is now we got a, we got our uh, parts out. And I'll show you them again. This is uh, the sequence. We were able to get the abutment out, and finally the little piece that's fractured that goes into this piece, and the the uh, uh, the prosthetic screw on top. So there's one, two, three, four, five pieces total, and they go in a little box, safekeeping. Now the cleanup. So now we're going to pre-soak everything, and we got to use these little scrub brushes all right so the first things first uh, the smallest scrub brush we have is a micro brush so we're gonna see we're gonna actually flood the area first yep we're gonna flood the area first with tartar and stain we're gonna see what else floats up to the top um, I'm gonna try to stay away from peroxide a little bit because the blood that's in the shaft that starts to bubble up we have issues so here we go Time to clean house. We got a we got a healing abutment to put in there. So isn't that great? Now we can go in and identify is that everything in there or what's beyond this? Now let's see let's, let's, what else is down in there for us to look at. Now that the head of the screw is out, huh? We got other things in there. Interesting. Stuff that's down in the threads. Let's find out what they are. Okay, filings. Filings and more filings. Soft. So pre-soak. Filings. Some kind of filings. Something down in there. I don't know what it is. But we're going to suction it out. Let's get it all loose first. Let's pre-soak it. Let's find out really what happened here. Okay, so if we can just position this. I know this has been... Hold that. Let me reposition the sublingual so it's a little better on him. Is that all right? Okay. So that stays put. Let's go back in there. Let's see, what's, let's see what we got here. Okay, so it looks like some kind of metal filings all the way down. Now that, I don't know what, why we would see that, but that's what it looks like. There is the base of the implant, and there are the threads we have to clean. And what a cleanup it has. There's a mess down in there. So let's clean it up. Let's get our tartar and stain down in there. Let's push that in place. Let it pre-soak. That'll that'll dissolve any impurities, and hopefully we can meticulously get. If they, if they are metal filings, folks, we're going to be here a little bit. This is because uh, everything is just gravity's taking it down. So whatever we do, we can maybe agitate it a little bit and just like that. And see if we can get more to come up. Okay, so we'll do that again. Cause see, we d we really don't want to start pressing those filings into the threads. That's not good. But at least we can identify the threads. They are there. There aren't many of them, but they're there. We're gonna count. Okay, so I'm agitating a little bit. They could have came from. I don't know. It could have came from a lot of things. Let's do this. Let's switch suctions. Let's put a tip of dilly in there. Let's get a tip of dilly on that. And then let's go ahead and just flush it out with some water. Now that it's all cleaned out. 
thoroughly. Can you hold that on your side? Let's do this. All right. There comes some water. Good old water. Here we go. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to actually put on here um, a small little device. Let's see if I have them here. Air water syringe tip. There we go. We're going to switch out our air water syringe tip. And we're going to come in. We may be leaking a little bit on you here. Don't worry. You'll get a little wet. Turn on the suction. We're going to get you a little wet. Let me change this one out. We'll put a different one on there. Say that again. What did he say? You're cold sensitive? Cocked it? Okay. Let me, uh, all right, so from here on out, basically what's, what we're going to do is we're going to just, let me get in there before it collapses on us. Um, I'm basically going to go in again. Let's rinse that out again. Now, this is a an air water. And now we just dry it off and switch back. And let's see what, what we have now. It should be fairly clean down in there. It's, it is starting to collapse a little bit now, so we've got to work di diligently. Here we go. Okay. Um, uh, I can still see filing, so we've got to. I got to get a brush down in there. So I'm going to dip my brush. And some TNS solution. And I'm going to go down in there and see if I can just move it back and forth. And then we'll check the brush. And let's see what we have on this brush. It looks like mostly just dry blood, but... Nah. what we don't want down in there. Blood byproducts. I just want to get it clean. Hold. Uh, well, on the way out, I probably touched the size. This is just a shaft of t soft tissue before I get down. I really need somebody to laser this thing wide open so that you can see everything. It really needs a laser. So let me put put it down in there and then I'll go down to get it. Uh, I easily see the threads though. Not like I'm struggling to see threads. You alright? Yeah, I'm not struggling to see threads. Now well, there's going to be a point where I gotta, I gotta just go ahead and and thread it a little bit. Okay, it's all part of the process. And I'm gonna just keep flooding it. This works better than acetone. It really is a very good product. I've tried acetone. It doesn't work too well. Let me just scrub it again. There's one more item I have in here that I like using. That's a small little go-between.
These should be in the kit. They weren't in there. Should be good to go. And then I twirl this. Okay. No. No. Hold. Okay, guys. Drop it down one more time. I'll get one more chance to clean these struts. Okay. Hold. Well, it could have been an accumulation because he's taken the uh, the abutment on and off and on and off and on and off, and that could have been an accumulation of just threads, you know, making metal metal contact, or he was almost stripping it. But I can see the threads; they look good. So I think I'm ready to put in our abutment. I got to do a quick check around the rim of this. And so I'm, I'm real close to, uh, to finishing here. All right. So this is uh, Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I think we've made a nice successful case here, but I've got to get back in there and just finish it up. So end of the clip, and we'll move it on.